Uh, so we look at uh, something that I that I guess for myself is very interesting. Finding the reduction formula for tan. Okay, it's, uh, it can seem to be a bit complex, but uh, when you follow it step by step, you find that it's very interesting. Okay, so uh, I'm going to write this in the form like the integral of uh, tan n minus two uh, of x uh, tan squared of x dx. Okay, so I'm not just going to integrate by parts just at this stage. It will be way too complex than I want it to be. So what I'll do is that I, I I'll try to remind myself to say, okay, um, I know that uh, I know to say uh, tan squared of x is simply equals to simply equals to um, sec squared of x minus one. Okay. So I'm going to write it as tan n minus two, okay, of x open bracket sec squared of x minus minus one dx there, okay. So uh, we distribute the tan. We're going to have uh, tan uh, to the power n minus two of x. Then we are going to have sec squared of x minus tan n minus two of x dx okay so we can re relate these as a uh, separate integrals that you're, that's going to be tan okay integral of tan n minus 2 of x uh, sec squared of x minus integral of uh, tan n minus 2 x dx so similar to the one for the one for uh, cotangent uh, i'm going to i'm going to have to uh, set aside this part. I'm going to get back to it a bit later. Okay, so that means I can just write it somewhere here. I can say, okay, I have my minus integral of uh, uh, tan n minus 2 of x dx. So the rest, what is remaining is that I have to deal with it using uh, integration by parts. Okay. We are going to use integration by parts for that one there. So we are going to say, okay, let our u be. Um, we're going to let our u be uh, tan n minus two of x. Then our dv, let it be uh, sec squared of x. So meaning our du will be equals to n minus two. Okay, we have dropped the power. That's like the power rule. The power rule. Then uh, the Derivative of tan tan x is simply uh, sec squared of x. Then you're going to have uh, your tan n minus three of x. Okay. Then your v will be equals to um, your v will be equals to what? Will be equals to tan x. So when you differentiate this one, you're going to get back that one. Okay. So here. Remember, we are, we are using integration by parts. It's u times v, of which um, u times v is simply this tan here by that tan there. So we have a power one here. The base the, be, the bases are the same, which is tan. So it's a uh, n minus two plus one, which gives us what? N minus one. Okay. So this is simply uh, tan n um, tan n minus one of x minus. Okay. The integral of of uh, v du. Okay, so uh, looking at what I have there, uh, I think I can bring in advance the the coefficient, which is this one here. Then the integral of. So I have um, I have tan here, and I have tan there. Okay, so meaning I have a six squared x. Then uh, we're going to have a tan n minus two of x dx. Where is the one, the other, um, where is the negative three going? Remember to say we have a positive one there. They add themselves, then we're going to have find that uh, it's going to be negative two. Okay, so um, I'm going to express this in terms of um, the identity that we introduced earlier. So we, we, not, we here are going to have a tan n minus one of x minus n minus two. Okay, then the integral of uh, sec, we say it's equals to it's equals to one plus uh, tan squared of x. We're multiplying by what? By tan n minus two x dx. 
okay so now this will be equals to 10 n minus 1 x here minus um, we have a uh, n minus 2 then the integral of we're going to have a uh, tan n minus 2 of x then uh, that would be plus uh, tan n of x dx we have a positive 2 and a negative 2 there so those two are going to uh, cancel out So we don't have to get, we don't have to forget that uh, we have to set aside that. Okay, we have to set it aside, and uh, I think it's high time we bring it back. But of course, we know that we are dealing with, um, we are dealing with. If we want to write it as uh, in like in two separate integrals, uh, we are going to find that this will be equals to tan n minus one of x minus. Um, n minus 2 integral of tan n minus 2 of x dx minus n minus 2 integral of tan n of x dx minus what we have here which is integral of tan n minus 2 x dx okay so when you look at uh, this part here okay this is initially what we are looking for highlighting this part that's what you're looking for but it has had it has that coefficient so we have just here it's just a matter of correcting the like terms so we're going to have um, when you correct the like terms let me show you how it's going to look you're going to have uh, integral of tan n x dx then you're going to have plus n minus 2 integral of uh, tan n of x dx okay that's how it's going to look such that if you factor out the tan the integral of tan n of x dx you're going to have your 1 uh, plus n minus 2 okay meaning this is going to be um, we can put it on the other side that would be n minus 1 then the integral of tan n of x dx so I just wanted to show how that comes about of course at some point maybe I might uh, write it like straightforward but that's how it comes about so meaning we have n minus 1 then integral of uh, tan n x dx being equals to so before I even go uh, a bit further but of course I just have to write this one tan n minus 1 of x so when I look at this part here this part and this part they are also alike so we can try to manipulate them okay like trying to, sim to simplify them into something that we're able to work with without much difficulty okay so what is common between the two is simply the integral of tan uh, n minus 2 of x dx open bracket let me set this as a negative so I'm going to have n minus 2 okay so we have um, we have a negative here to make that as a negative I'll say plus meaning that becomes a 1 so we have uh, we're going to have a coefficient of minus um, n minus 1 then the integral of tan n minus 2 of x dx that's something that we remain with okay so that will that will simply be minus uh, minus n uh, minus n minus 1 then the integral of tangent of n minus 2 of x dx so at this point we can divide both sides by um we can say here we say n minus one then here we say n minus one and that gives us the final integral i mean the the final reduction formula integral of tan the power n of x dx being equals to tan n minus one of x okay n minus one of x over n minus one then we want to have a minus integral of tan n minus 2 of x dx okay and that becomes the reduction formula that we are looking for so this part goes and that part goes that's why that's why you're only remaining with what the coefficient of one there and that's how you go about um answering that one so it's just a matter of being patient taking it step by step and uh you become more familiar with it as you practice more thank you very much for watching